Okay, welcome to calculus. Now this is mathematics. So now, why am I starting with calculus? Is because calculus is the longest topic in maths, as in according to jam syllabus, because we have both differentiation and integration, and you have some topic under each. So we're going to look at the ones that jam focus more. So at least we are going to be using short method for everything. So now we are starting with power rule. So the power rule says that if y equals x raised to power n, the y ds is n s raised to power n minus 1, as you can see here. Now you don't need to start cramming this formula. So now let's go straight to the point. Now if y <coughs> is equals x raised to power 3, then the y over the s will be equals to now what is the power here yeah, three just forget this formula don't scram formula just know that the power is what three see the power is three i will write it first i will write it first so followed by x abby so i'll write the x so that means i'm writing the power first then x now since the power is 3 subtract 1 from that power 3 minus 1 is what that will give you 2 so that means the y ds will be 3 s raised to power <coughs> 2 now that is what the formula as in the power rule is really talking about so we don't need to start scramming the formula so now let's say the question is y is equals to s raised to power 10 what is the y over the s now the same way the y the s will be equals to now what is the power 10 so you write the power first 10 then x raised to power what so you need to say 10 minus 1 always subtract 1 from the power that will be raised to power 9 that means the y the s is 10 x raised to power 9 now if y equals s raised to power 99 now what is the y the s so now without wasting time the power is 99 so write it first this power then s raised to power 98 so remember always subtract one from the power so that is power rule. so now what if y <coughs> what if y is equals to s raised to power 50 then what is the y the s the y the s will be 50 x raised to power 49 now do this on your own now if y equals s raised to power 200 now what is the y over the s do it <coughs> good so answer should be 200 raised to power 199 you know remember always subtract one from the power now hope you get this now this may this one we are not really solving but just try and understand all this pattern because we are going to use it soon so now let us ignore the yds the yds so let us just solve generally so now let's say if y is equals to s raised to power 7. Now what is the y the s? So you just say the y the s is 7 s raised to power 6. Now if y is equals to 3 x raised to power 7. Now do you see that it's almost similar to this one? Because there is no number here. We have one there. But now I write 3. So now look at it that means this seven here will multiply the three first seven times three is what 21 so that's what you'll be doing anytime there is a number before the s that is the coefficient here so that means you have 21 x raised to power six remember how do we guess is always subtract one from the power don't forget always subtract one from the power now after this first part because we don't need to every other aspect of calculus is de it depends on this first part that's why i'm taking my time to explain it in splitted form so if you have graduated from this level then we can solve anyhow so now let's proceed 
so now if y is equals to 8 s raised to power 11 what is the y the s so the y over the s will be equals to now remember the power will multiply the number so now 8 times 11 is what 88 then s raised to power 10 how do we get 10 subtract 1 from the power always subtract 1 so now what if if y is equals to 10 s raised to power 9 then the y over the s will be so i'll first say 9 times 10 that will be 90 so we have 90 s raised to power 8 always subtract 1 so that is how we can solve that now let us combine what we have solved so far to form a question maybe you can grab so now let's say question is y is equal to s raised to power 7 plus 4 s raised to power 2 what is the y the s that means the y over the s do it one by one so if you do it one by one you are going to get 7 s raised to power 6 yeah you know if i differentiate s raised to power 7 meaning i will write 7 first abby I also subtract one from the power so now plus now this is power 2 and this is 4 I'll first say 2 times 4 because there is a number yeah that will be 2 times 4 is what 8 then x raised to power 2 minus 1 you know it to be 1 so I don't need to write power 1 so that means answer is 7 x raised to power 6 plus 8 s I hope you get this remember this is just a uh, illustration and illustration we have not really solved any example yet i have not given you any example but let us proceed after you have graduated from here then we can now start example fully so now if y is equals to 10 s raised to power 6 plus 6 s raised to power 2 minus s raised to power 8 what is the y the s now just do it one by one everything you have learned the first thing this six we multiply the ten that will be sixty s raised to power five how do you get five we subtract one from the power always subtract one from the power plus again two times six that will be twelve s then two minus one that will be one now i don't need to be writing power one minus eight s raised to power seven you write the 8 then you subtract 1 from the power so it is when number is at the back you first multiply that number by the power so if number is not there just bring the power just like 8 x raised to power 7 so that's the answer i hope you are getting it okay let us proceed with our illustration i've not done any example please take notes just follow up with all the illustration now another aspect is if y is equals to x what is the y the s now do you see that this s is power one any number any alphabet that stand on its own is always power one so in this case now if we use our principle the y the s will be what one s raised to power one minus one that will be what one s raised to power zero which is what one that means anytime you differentiate x anytime you differentiate x the y ds is equals to one so now if y is equals to two x what is the y the s now and look at this s do you see it's power one anytime that s is power one don't bother to waste time you know we are just using short approach just write two because s raised to power one is just one it's like saying two times one remember we have differentiate s now we got one as in this s we have done it now we got one so that means anytime you see s just turn it to one this will be two times one which is two but if it is y is equal to 2s raised to power 3 now if power is there that power must multiply the number 3 times 2 6 but if it is 1 that is there just remove the s and write only the number okay let's proceed so this will be 6s raised to power 2 
now let us test ourselves on the x alone so before we can now do the last part okay if y is equals to 5s what is the y over <coughs> the s <coughs> remember the power on this s is what one so if you differentiate 5x you are going to get 5 so i've told you that if the power here is one just ignore the s pick the number alone <coughs> now if y is 100x what is the y the s the y the s will be 100 <coughs> Uh, if y is 200x <clears throat> what is the y the s 200 now if y is 100 s raised to power 3 what is the y the s now what do you see here now s raised to power 3 do you see the power is 3 is not 1 like all this one now if the power is a number then you say like three apart from one you first multiply that power by the number three times hundred will be what three hundred then s raised to power two please don't forget y is equals to eight s what is the y over the s if y is eight s the y the s will be eight <coughs> because the power is one please don't forget if y is 8s raised to power 4, then the y ds will be what? <coughs> 8 times 4 first. That will be 32. S raised to power 3. So do you notice now that the only time I will write only number is when that s carry power 1. Now, if y is equal to 7s, the y over the s is equal to what? 7. So like that. <coughs> hope you get this okay now let's move to last part <coughs> the last part now if y is equals to 10 what is the y the s <coughs> The y the s will be zero. Why do we get zero here? Yeah. Because there is no x here. Yeah. And we always say the y the s. That means if there is no y um, <coughs> what you should differentiate with respect to y then the answer will be zero. Remember, we are saying the y, the s. Why are we saying the y, the s? Is because there is x there. But if y <coughs> equals 10s, what is the y, the s? The y over the s will be equals to 10. Why? Because this s is power 1. I'm missing it together. Now, if y is 20, <coughs> what is the y, the s? The y the s will be equals to zero. Why? Because there is no x and you want to find the y the s. So that is the y the nothing. So that means you are differentiating y with respect to nothing. That means the y the s will be zero. <coughs> now if y equals to two, what is the y over the s? <coughs> the y the s will be equals to zero. Like that. So what if y is equal to 5? What is the y ds? <coughs> the y ds will be 0. Now what if y is equal to 5s? What is the y over the s? The y ds will be 5 because that s is 1. Please don't forget. Now if y equals 5s raised to power 2. What is the y the s? The y the s will be ten s. Why? Because you say two times five ten, then you subtract one from the power. Two minus one is one. So <clears throat> we are through with introduction to power rule. 
now before i'll proceed in another video then you should solve this then we can now start the example fully so find the yds of all this if y is equals to s raised to power 9 then what is the y the s <coughs> number two y is equals to 100 then find the y the s three y equals to 10 s raised to power 11 find the y the s four <coughs> y equals to y equals to 7x then find the y over the s 5 if y equals to 5 find the y over the s so just try all this 6 if y is equals to 6s raised to power 3 find the y over the s so try all this one first then we can now start in our next video example one at least you will have known how to differentiate so now try it 